In this video, I want to show you how we're going to, uh, to add a second battery in, in parallel. So we're using this small inverter, the, the 1200 inverter, which is a 12 volt one. So normally this one goes up with a single battery. But I, we, we would wire up to a single battery and because it's 12 volts. Now, because it's a 12 volt system, I cannot go and put them in series because putting the batteries in series will end up, you've got to add the, the voltages, okay. which will give you 24 volts. But we want to stay at 12 volts. So we do them in parallel. Now, when you do, when, when we wire up the 24 volt one, you'll see that I actually normally flip one of these batteries around. So the one's upside down, remember, then you've got your plus and your minus opposite each other. But now they're the same way around. So that both the pluses are on the left and the, and the minus on the right. So can you see that? Yeah, so both. Okay, so we've got, and now zoom out. So these two are both pluses and these are both minuses. Minus. Minus and minus. And minus. So what I've got to do, and and um, is I've got to put, I've got to join those two together, and these two together. So then I'm going to think of it as I'm making a bigger battery, but it's still the same voltage. Okay. And then my my power in the box. And you can put this here. So be careful now not to this spark it by mistake. So now I bring my power in the box. And I add the minus to the minus, and the plus to the plus. Either one can be that side or this side. This, yeah, as long as you do them consistently. Yeah, you, yeah. You see, I, ca I can't go and do uh, on some, that one. And I can't side. do this one across there. Yeah. That would be funny. Oh, okay. So you've got to do it that way. Okay. So you'll end up with, uh, but you'll see now. So uh, you either pause it, or, yeah, pause it. And now, before you do this, you've got to check that your batteries are sufficient. That you've got to check that your batteries are the same voltage. Otherwise, when you connect them, you get all sorts of reverse polarity happening. So I'm going to just check this. Watch me now. I've set my. I've got a voltmeter here, and I'm still be setting it on volts. And I'm going to measure the voltage. So this one is at 12.9, which is a full battery, and this one is at 12.7. They're pretty close. 12.7, 12.8. They're close enough. 12.8 and 12.9 so if if the one is sitting at 11 other one 12 okay. then what you do is you just charge them both separately until they're fully charged but they're both they're equivalent now they're both fully charged okay just you can okay. actually don't have to worry because it's boring okay, there we go there we go okay this, this is now minus negative to minus. minus little this spark there might be a little spark here there it is you see so now See what I've got here. So you can see what I've done is I've added the plus to the plus and the minus to the minus. And you've got to be very careful when you're doing it that this wire here doesn't touch this one or this panel because it's going to spark. So you've got to be very careful with DC current. Now, now what I've got to do is notice I haven't put the wing nuts on these two yet because I'm still going to add the inverter. I'm going to put the inverter here and I'm going to be very careful to get red on red, black on black. So, so you see that? It's black. This is black on black. And now when I touch there, I'm going to expect a small spark. But I'm going to plan for it now to show you. So when you when you connect um it makes a spark and the spark means a little piece of molten metal is jumping somewhere so just best to wear glasses or be a little bit further away for safety so, so i just stand far further away and i just tap okay there's no spark um and i attach it there okay. just keep rolling keep rolling So I put, I, I know that checking, I, I'm double checking anyway, but I don't need to check because if I got this wrong, there would have been big sparks if we were welding things. Okay, so it just, the fact that it didn't spark just says that it is all fully. And now when I switch on, you see it shows, uh, it's still, it's now got, uh, let me take you through. If I go here. 
if you look at it, you see 12.7 volts. Okay. So it sees it so as one 12, battery. It sees it as one battery, 12.7. Um, and then, then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the voltage across here, you'll see. I'm going to check the voltage across the, the two points that the inverter joined on. See here and here? I check the difference there. And it's 12.7, which is what it says here, 12.6, 12.7. Okay. 